treated like a deity. It's treated like the goddess Saraswati. You don't put your foot on the instrument. You don't step over the instrument. You treat it with a, a great deal of respect. This instrument in its current form, uh, something like this, was developed about 400 years ago. This is called the Saraswati Veena, after the goddess Saraswati. There are other types of Veena that are performed in India today, but this is the prototypical South Indian instrument associated with this goddess. The instrument is made from the jack fruit tree, as is the Mridangam. It's a very important hard wood that you find in, in South India. It has seven strings, four on this main plane here, and three on the side that are used uh, to mark out the metric cycle called Tharlam. So there are 12 frets per octave, just like on a guitar, uh, but it's not equal tempered like a guitar. And they're set in beeswax. You'll see on this end, there's something that's gourd shaped. And at one time, um, it was common to use a gourd here or a, or a gourd that's covered with something to make it stronger. Nowadays, uh, it can be made out of wood, fiberglass, metal, or paper mache. <laughs> I had my own uh, original band and I played lead guitar. And then um, I heard a concert of South Indian classical music. And I was very taken by this music. And partly I was taken by the, the drumming because somehow I felt it, um, I don't know, I'm somebody who likes to like bang on things and there was something very appealing about it. So I started learning to play the murudangam first. I was lucky enough to get connected with a Veena playing family associated with the town of Karikuri. So the style of Veena playing is called the Karikuri style or Karikuri Bani. The Veena allows for the twists and turns that you find in Indian music. One of the things that's interesting about this is there's a, a main set of what as you find in there. But then there's a couple of places where you have a, f a phrase that's completely out of context in a way. It's really, it gives a lot of flavor. It doesn't have to be there, but... And a parallel one. Most Carnatic compositions have three parts, a Pallavi, a Nu Pallavi, and a Charanam. And in between each of the sections, there's a space for Raga Lapana. It's an exploration of the Raga that's not strictly related to the Tala. A phrase repeated three times that brings you right back to the beginning of the next section, whether that's on the first beat or in the case of Deshavi, 